Hey guys, in keeping with the law of YouTube videos, because I've bought myself some new equipment, you guys need to see an unboxing video. Uh, the equipment specifically is the Bose L1 Pro 8 portable line array system. Mouthful. Um, that took me four takes to get right, by the way. Um, so basically this video is literally me receiving the box, opening it up, my initial thoughts and feelings. Um, there might be some sound bites towards the end of the video, I'll get it plugged in and everything, um, but this is just my initial reactions to receiving it. I want to save all the proper sound bites and everything once I've properly gigged the unit and I know it's pros and cons, so that'll be in a future video. So for now, this is just a warts and all video of me unboxing the thing and seeing how easy it is to get on with. Hope you enjoy. Okay, here she is. I'm not sure why she's a she, but she is. Um, big box, actually so big that I wanted to do this video in a studio setting but couldn't fit it in my car. So here we are in my kitchen, so it's gonna be a bit boomy. Apologies for the sound differences. Uh, yeah, big old box, bit of a ledge there. I'm guessing that's for the speaker or one of the tall speakers that attaches to it, part of the array system, or line array system, I should say. And then we've got some blurb on the back, which makes me want to go into a cinema trailer voice. Um, which I'll spare you now, but maybe I'll save that for another video. So yeah, there we are. Let's open her up. Okay, unboxing time, manly knife. Um, it's important to say as well that this thing in a box weighs an absolute ton. Um, actually, that's not true, it weighs 18 kilograms, but still, in its box, it's pretty heavy. Um, I'm hoping it's not as heavy as the box. Maybe packaging weighs loads these days. Can you tell it's my first unboxing video? Okay, what we got? So, first things first. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we've got some sort of speakers in a soft padded bag. We have blurb. We have kettle lead. I'm assuming our speakers in a nice padded bag. Let's just open that up. Ooh, yeah. Bit of Velcro. This looks lovely. Ooh, smart. Okay, I'm gonna come closer to you so you can see this. So, we've got this nice big long bag, and in this nice long bag are two compartments. So the previous Bose bag, I'll come in the frame, the previous Bose bag I had um, was one similar thing to this, a um, little bit more padded than this actually, this has only got a bit of padding on it. Uh, and it was just a long tool bag with one split in the middle and one sp both extension speakers went either side. But they weren't really extension speakers, they were just extension poles. They were just plastic that sent the signal from the top speaker to the bottom subunit. These both look... Oh no, it's time corrected. So, that's undone. Let's take the first one out. So this is similar. So this, yeah. So there, we've got one long plastic extension, which has got the connection on the end. Uh, so that you can connect it to make it taller to go to about six foot tall, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, you guys can look at the specs. And then the other speaker in here. There we go. This is the the one doing the job, one with the speakers. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Probably not. But it has those angled speakers that Bose do fantastically. So the sound gives a whole 180 from here gives a 180 degree um, spectrum, so you don't have to worry about feedback so much, but also you don't have to worry about where the sound is traveling. It will fill a room perfectly. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, whilst I'm just going through this, it's worth knowing why I upgraded. Um, I had the Bose L1 Compact, and if you guys have seen my previous video, there we go, if you guys have seen my previous video, um, I loved that thing, it was amazing. Uh, it didn't have any on-built effects and very limited uh, frequency uh, adjustment, so you couldn't really do much with it. Um, in addition, you needed to add add things to it or buy a separate mixer. Uh, I tried a couple of mixers. I just it's not my thing really. So I decided to upgrade this, upgrade that, sorry, to this because I slated them slightly and just said that um, they could just do it at that price point. They could stick a reverb on there or just more um, manipulatives on there. Uh, so better EQ adjustment basically and lo and behold they have brought this out years later they obviously you know watch my video and um, yeah so this has got onboard reverb it's got an app that comes with it you can adjust loads of stuff anyway less talking more unboxing okay and then we've got the unit itself first impressions this is much bigger than the L1 compact I guess the clue is in the title oh it's quite chunky it's quite chunky wow okay let's just adjust this again Let's just get that like that. Okay, this is 
I'll give you a proper angle in a minute. But um, first impressions, uh, it's huge. It's much bigger than um, the compact. Like I can say, cruising the title. Um, this is not compact. It's their one of their flagship systems. So I was expecting something slightly bigger. Um, okay. Yeah, amazing. So we've got our controls on the back. Looks pretty simple. Um, yeah, from the research I've done on this, on other videos, it looks like it's a really good thing to access. Very simple. Uh, different settings for each channel. Wonderful. Yeah, really. Yeah, just looks really smart, really sleek, really professional. Um, it is, yeah, decisively heavier. I mean, it depends on your thoughts of that. I think that's a good thing. I kind of equate um, heaviness or weight to quality. Um, yeah, that's going to take, if that takes any knocks, that's going to survive. That's lovely. Very nice and portable. Um, yeah, I knew this already. Uh, nice soft case for the speaker extensions. No case for this. Arguably, this is the thing that's going to get knocked. Uh, so that's a shame. Um, I did know that already, so I'm not disappointed in that respect. It would have been good just to have even a, a little sleeve on there. Let's just triple check. No, there's nothing in there. Um, yeah, a sleeve of some sort just to give it a little bit of protection. Uh, I know you can buy sleeves for this separately because I've seen them advertised, but the reviews I've heard on them is that they're really thin um, and don't actually provide much support or much protection at all. Um, again, a bit of a shame, this price point. Uh, just something to stop it getting knocked in the car from gig to gig. Yeah, uh, that's a bit of a disappointment. But never mind. Okay, I shall switch views so you guys can see from above. Okay, so here is the aerial view. Um, yeah. It's quite chunky. I don't mean that's a bad thing. I guess I'm just surprised because I had the compact. And uh, yeah, yet again, the clue is in the name. But the compact was much smaller and lighter. And uh, so I'm just a bit surprised at how big this is. But not a bad thing, as I say. Looks really sleek, really professional. And that's not going to get knocked over by a drunk singing along to Sweet Caroline anytime soon, is it? Um, so yeah, I will set this up and so you guys can see what it looks like when it is fully erect. LOL. Okay, here it is partially erect. Uh, we shall call this the semi. Um, yeah, there you go. Nice and sleek. Um, I imagine if you're playing in a cafe, bar type thing, sitting next to that will look very, very cool. Um, okay, now we shall see what it's like fully erect. God, I really am such a child. Okay, fine, I'll keep the joke going. This is it fully erect. Look at the size of that. Um, yeah, so I'm six foot three. I've done a quick guesstimation and I'm saying that's seven feet tall, um, which is quite something. That is going to cover the heads of any crowd anywhere. If it's on a floor, unless you're playing at some sort of NBA sort of halftime show, um, the joke there being that basketball players are tall, incidentally. Uh, yeah, so uh, there we go. It's absolutely huge. So previously, the Bell Bose L1 Compact, it was only... Try and get something in focus. The top speaker was only about that tall. Um, so it didn't have many speakers in there. Maybe this has more speakers. Let's have a look. It looks like it. I can see through the grate. You guys might not be able to because of the lighting. But here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe eight, possibly nine. No, I think it's eight. In fact, I think it says on the box. Maybe I should look at the box. Um, eight speaker, yes. Eight speaker articulated C-shaped line array. So I've just gone to plug the thing in to give you guys a bit of a sound bite and had a look at the kettle lead, only to find that this is the lead they have provided me with. Um, yeah, anyone that's been to the UK before will know that this is not a UK lead. Um, that's not a UK main supply at all. This, I think, is the American one. Oh dear, Bose, that's not great. Um, I'd expect at this price point, just a kettle lead that works for the country that you're going to be playing the thing in would be quite a simple thing to include. Doesn't cost you much money. Hmm, not great. So I'm going to have to find a kettle lead that works. Unfortunately, I haven't got one here because they are all at the studio. So I'm not going to be able to provide you with any sound bites today. Very disappointing. Um, but I will save those for a future video, so not to worry. Genuinely quite annoyed about the kettle lead, if I'm honest, because I really wanted to delve into this a little bit and just see how accessible it was to get started and get some good sounds out of it. Um, I wanted to download the app on my phone and see if I could manipulate the sound to get a good quick sound and how quickly that would take and that sort of thing. Um, but, lo and behold, can't do it. So, sorry guys, I have to make a separate video on that at some point. 
Um, but I will get around to it, okay? So quick initial thoughts and feelings, pros and cons. Big pro for me is the height of this thing. Speakers all the way up here. That means that my highs and my mids are gonna be just where I want them when the audience is going to be listening, as well as my lows, kept way down on the floor in the sub. Fantastic, I cannot wait to try this out in some of the venues that have got questionable acoustics, because I think it's gonna do a really good job. Second pro is the weight and the size and the shape of the thing. No one's gonna knock this over in a hurry. It's very durable, it looks the part as well. It looks really professional and really pro. Um, yeah, initial thoughts and feelings are oh, this is gonna be a good unit for what I need it for. So acoustic, singer, songwriter, um, covers kind of thing. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect for that. And cons. Big con for me is the lack of a padded case for the subunit. Um, again, this price point should be able to provide it. It's quite a simple thing. I know that even if I put that in my car, now it fits in the back without the cardboard box, that that is gonna get knocked and that is gonna get marked. I need something to protect it, even if it's something basic. That means I'm gonna to have to go to a third party or spend a lot of money on the very thin case that Bose have made, which I'm not gonna bother because the reviews look not great on those and I would need more protection. I contacted a great company whose name I can't remember who made a case for my Blackstar Sonnet Compact 60, I think that's the name of it, um, which is really the perfect case for it. It's a nice level of padding and it's sleek and stylish. So I'm gonna contact them and see if they can make one of the, those for this. I will put their name in the link below. Um, I forgot to do that for the previous video, so apologies. So yeah, that's a negative for me. Other negative is quite a minor one, but it's just the kettle lead thing. Just, you know, just include a proper kettle lead with brand new equipment that's quite expensive so that people can use it straight away and not have situations like this. Guys, we made it. First unboxing video done. Thanks very much for checking it out. If you want to see more content like this, please do let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you want to see more just me geeking out over stuff to try and get the best sound out of my acoustic. And thanks again for watching and hopefully see you soon. Cheers.